Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, love from the beginning, word made flesh, breath of heaven. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sinfulness before God and one another, trusting in God's endless mercy and love. Merciful God, we confess that we are not perfect. We have said and done things we regret. We have tried to earn your redeeming grace while denying it to others. We have resisted your call to be your voice in the world. Forgive us, loving God. Give us your righteousness, the strength to put aside our failures, and the courage to try again. Amen. Dear people of God, hear the good news. Christ the Savior is born. You are loved and forgiven. In the name of Jesus who has come among us, you are freed from the proving that you deserve to be loved because God's love is given to you as the most precious gift of all. Rejoice in this love and share it with the world. Amen.
grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. At every beginning, there is a yearning for the one who is coming. O Emmanuel, wake us up to your coming. We gather together to get ready for what? Only heaven knows. O Emmanuel, surprise us by your coming. We wait for the day when God will create a prevailing peace on the earth and natural born enemies turn into newborn friends. O Emmanuel, prepare us for your coming. We get ready for God to come close by laying our lives open to Jesus, asking him to sort through all our mixed motives. O Emmanuel, open us to your coming. Jesus, we welcome your presence now with the lighting of these candles, whose flames bring warmth to winter and fill this place with the glow of hope. Amen.
who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us, authority rests on his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish it and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this, the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
Glory to you, O Lord. In those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria. And all went to be enrolled, each to his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the city of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and the lineage of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to be delivered. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling cloths, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. And in that region there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. And they were filled with fear. And the angel said to them, Be not afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will come to all the people. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace among men with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in the manger. When they saw it, they made known the saying which had been told them concerning this child, and all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds had told them. But Mary kept all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen as it had been told them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Grace to you and peace from God, our Father, our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. The cross stood tall yet bare under the portico of the north wing of the church. And then slowly, one by one, families made their way to add flowers in its mesh skin. It was Easter, and the stark symbol of death became a sign of resurrection hope. Even when we couldn't gather in person, we were represented as a sign of hope and life, with each petal and bouquet woven into that cross. But little did we know way back in April that this virus would hold the whole world hostage for this long. The days turned into weeks, the weeks into months, and still we are unable to gather together in this place as a new variant of the virus has manifested itself. Yet, all is not lost, although sometimes it feels like it. No, we have learned, albeit slowly, how to adapt in these difficult days. Even technological novices like me have bumbled along to provide worship opportunities online. Yes, it has been a 
huge learning curve. But we are continuing to grow in our understanding of this medium and how to produce something worth watching. But no matter how well done the video is, no matter how clever the camera work, or how hard I work at editing, I know it's not the same. It's not the same as sitting in your pew that your family has sat in for generations. It's not the same as gathering in the beautiful sanctuary all decked out in its greenery and bows and pew candles and poinsettias and advent wreaths and chrismon trees surrounded by family and friends. It's not the same as lifting our voices in song even when we can't sing that well because finally we know all the hymns by heart. And besides, there are so many voices, no one can hear us sing anyway. It's not the same as coming forward to receive the very body and blood of the one whose birth we are celebrating and recognizing this is Emmanuel. It's not the same as lighting your candle and, and raising it in the gentle echo of silent night. It's not the same. I get it. It's not the same for me either. You are my family. You are my church. Week after week, I stand in this empty sanctuary, preaching. There's no one here to hear my words. They reverberate off the walls and off the glass. They sound hollow and empty. I stare at a Canon video camera, straining to see your faces through the lens. No, it's not the same for any of us. It is strange and bewildering. But then I think of Mary, nine months pregnant, and, and Joseph, who's traveled 90 miles journeying on foot just to be counted in a census. They must have been exhausted walking for days only to have Mary go into labor there in Bethlehem. She delivers her son, Jesus, in a stall and lays him in a feed trough as a bed. I wonder if Mary shed the tears of a mother in travail, separated from the familiarity and the comfort of her own home. Did she long for privacy, to be secluded from the world as she bonded with her newborn son, whom the angel Gabriel had announced, only to be visited by shepherds, wondering what in the world was going on. <laughs> no, this was not the way they might have envisioned Christmas, the birth of the Son of God. But it was the Christmas they got. And while there was nothing fancy adorning the stall, no lights or trees, no big gatherings and celebrations, no wrapped presents or stockings hung, 
the greatest gift was given Jesus. And in quiet humility, Mary, cradling her firstborn child, listens to the wild stories of the shepherds, how the angels had greeted them as the angel had once greeted her. And she pondered all these things in her heart. What are you pondering in your heart on this holy night? Is it all the things that you didn't get to do, won't get to do this Christmas, people that you won't get to see? Or are you preparing a place in your heart for the Savior to abide? You see, as much as I love this place, this beautiful sanctuary, this building, and I do, God doesn't live here. God resides within each and every one of you. No, we can't gather together at this time because we are called to care for one another. And so we will refrain from gathering. But you are here. Your heart is here. Your spirit is here. And I feel it. And God knows it. This year's tree is not filled with chrismons, symbols of Christ. It's filled with you, your ornaments, your love. And wherever your love is shown, there is Christ. So even apart, we are together. In the love of Christ, Emmanuel, God is with us.
believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Joining our voices with the song of the angels, let us pray for the church the world, and all who are in need. The shepherds sing, Jesus Christ is born. Let your church throughout the world proclaim this good news over the hills and everywhere. Unite the voices of all your faithful people in songs of praise and rejoicing. Hear us, O oh God. Your, your mercy is great. Pray. Heaven and nature sing, joy to the world. Give respite to flocks, fields, and those who tend them. Come near to us in the beauty of nighttime, the shining of the stars, and the hush of a world at rest. May our wonder at your creation rouse our care for all the earth. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. The angels sing, Peace on Earth. Come quickly to still the strife of this world. Hush the noise of war and violence in places of unrest. Inspire leaders of nations to seek lasting peace and sustainable provision for all in their care. Hear us, O oh God. Your, Your mercy is great. great. Mary sings melodies of comfort to her newborn child. Bring rest and reassurance to those facing struggles this night. Shelter travelers and those without homes. Console those who lie awake due to pain or anxiety. Heal those who are sick or hurting. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Love sings through the sound of a new baby's cry. Bless new parents and expectant parents. Comfort those who long for children, especially those running out of hope or options. Surround families of every shape and size with your love and care. Hear us, O oh God. Your, your mercy is great. great. The heavenly chorus sings, Glory to God in the highest. We give you thanks for all the saints who have proclaimed your glory in word and deed, especially Evelyn Helms. Let us join them this night in joyful praise around your eternal throne. Hear us, O oh God. Your, your mercy is great. God of mercy, come quickly to us with grace upon grace as we lift these and all our prayers to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. And also with you. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O God, who in ancient times made this holy night to shine in the light of your Son, Jesus, shine now upon us and lead us into the way of everlasting life in your eternal kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen.
Christ is born. Go tell it on the mountain and everywhere. Thanks be to God.